Hi everyone, Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Rising. Hope you're all doing fantastic. So Oracle Rising is my channel where I really try to help you guys on your spiritual path, your ascension path, and escape the 3D matrix, okay? So um, I really wanted to thank T for sending me a whole bunch of subjects to go a little bit deeper into. So I did add those to my content planner and I really welcome you guys to put comments or email me at oraclerising2 at gmail.com um, with your subject ideas. I'm really open and I, I, I love to do the research if it's not something that I feel like I'm like semi-expert on. So today i'm going to talk about something called aphantasia okay so this could possibly affect the way that you manifest and i'm going to explain it a little bit more um you know because i talk about manifesting and how well not just me but a lot of people talk about manifesting and how the key is to visualize and then put your passion and your energy into that image that your brain creates um I love Beyonce. So I was watching her talk about the best concert that she ever played. She sat and visualized it from start to finish, how she just pictured herself singing every single song, um, every move that she made on stage, just visualized herself dancing in perfection. And of course, like knocking it out of the park with her vocals and just being like amazing entertainment. So... I thought, well, I'm going to give that a try. So I have like very like moderate success with visualization. Sometimes I can see things, but I can't like sit down and intentionally create a visual in my head. So I thought, well, I cannot be the only one, right? You know, this is not, I'm not just a freak, am I? Huh. Anyway, so there is something called aphantasia and it was just something that was identified around the year 1808 and apparently this affects between two to five of the population although i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't set any store by that number so i thought i want to talk about this with this i want to talk about aphantasia with you guys because what if you're like knocking yourself out busting your brain in half trying to visualize something that is never going to happen okay so there are other techniques that you guys can use and what's really crazy about aphantasia is that you might not be able to have a, like a waking visualization you know where you sit down and you picture that perfect partner or that dream house or whatever but you have dreams okay so there's just some sort of switch that isn't working in your brain, but you can still dream at night. So that's really interesting too. So I wanted to talk about other ways to visualize, other ways to create your um, manifestation path, okay? So, um, so I wrote down that you have a blind mind's eye. And I think that's completely fascinating. Um, so I really want to know who else this affects. Like if you sit down and you think, oh, I'm just going to picture my dream house right now. And meanwhile, it's nothing, you know. So let me know in the comments if this affects you or anybody else, okay? So this could be um, something that you're born with, which is really fascinating. Um, or it could happen after a trauma, Um and I've, I've had a couple of significant head traumas. So I'm not sure when this happened for me because I really didn't become any sort of a cognizant manifester uh, until recently because I just didn't know what was going on. I was clueless. I was lost. Then I went through my dark night of the soul and I feel a little bit more enlightened now. <laughs> but it's always such a journey. But I had um a really really bad head concussion um years ago uh, i want to say like eight or nine years ago so that actually triggered my dark night of the soul and my spiritual ascension path because i got to meet archangel gabriel during that time but i digress so this could be something that you're just used to and you think well whatever i don't know what people are talking about or it could happen after some sort of traumatic event, like maybe an accident, like what I was in. Um, 
So anyway, on with the show. So manifesting again, people like, Oh, you got to visualize and then put all this emotion into it. But if you close your eyes and trying to visualize and all you feel is frustration and maybe a sense of inadequacy, then what? Okay. So I've talked about vision boards before. I actually keep mine right beside my bed. Um, I have everything that my heart desires on it. So I actually look at it prior to meditating, okay? Um, and if I open my eyes during meditation, I think it's okay to open your eyes, you guys. You just do meditate however you feel like it's flowing comfortably for you. So it's right there. It's the last thing I see at night. It's the first thing I see in the morning. I see it when I'm getting dressed, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's always there. So other ways you can help like really stimulate your brain is to um, decorate your cell phone, use a wallpaper, um, your screen savers. Um, mine right now, I found this particularly resonant quote that said, things get really challenging just before you level up and then it says like punctuation period mark and then don't break okay so i have some extremely high pressure circumstances going on right now so i needed that reminder not to break so that's what i have on my phone sometimes like right now but sometimes i have a blank universal check or you know a picture of the house that i'm gonna live in eventually um so really use your imagination when it comes to stuff like that, you guys, uh, to decorate your home. Um, speaking, of course, speaking your affirmations out into the universe. Uh, Jennifer Lopez believes in speaking her affirmations out loud. I saw her doing that while she was having an interview with Oprah Winfrey. She's amazing. And look where she, she's pretty successful. I don't know where she stands on visualizing, but I mean, those out loud affirmations and it might feel a little bit weird, right? So, you know, especially if you're in your house emoting <laughs> all these affirmations and you're by yourself and the cat and the dog are like, oh, she gone crazy, <laughs> you know? So, um, <laughs> anyway, reading is a good way to really ignite your imagination you know you can read magazines about what it is that you're trying to manifest you can read books that are set in lo location that you want to live um moving is one of my biggest things right now so it's probably why i talk about it a lot um but reading creates pictures in your mind okay and i seem to remember that because i can't read very much anymore like i can read very very lightly if i have to do any sort of um research from my videos but to sit down and read a book i just can't do it anymore i get a few pages in and i'm like Pfft. but meanwhile i used to read three books a week just because i'm a voracious reader but anyway that's a good one uh, writing, whether you're a creative writer or you just want to write your affirmations out. I read something not too long ago that said writing your affirmations on paper in pencil has a particularly uh, impactful something, okay? It, it's really, it's good for you to do that in pencil. Sorry, I just blanked out on the word, but I don't know why that is. Um, but I found that when I find things particularly fascinating like that, I'm going to give them a try. So I'm probably going to head up to the Dollar Tree or something like that and get a pencil because <laughs> I'm a pen girl. Okay, so painting, you guys can express your creativity through painting. I painted this in the background here. It might not be the best work of art, but I had a great time doing it. Um, and I, I wrote the words to be thankful and grateful, okay? So, and this is obviously where I sit to do my Oracle Rising videos. So I see this constantly. And just over there where I do my tarot card readings, that painting I have in the background, um, I did that myself. Uh, it was at a paint night, so there was an instructor, but it was still a really good time. Um, and I did paint a couple more things, but I'm not talented. It's just really fun. Um, emoting, like I was saying, um, emoting your affirmations don't just say them say them with feelings say them with passion say them as if you believe they're real already you know so really start 
especially if you're home alone, you know, you can just take like, it's a Shakespeare play or something like that. And you're the main character, just go nuts, have fun with it. Like really just belt out your affirmations. Um, meditation, always good. I talked about that really briefly. Um, chanting, that's not really anything I get into, but you can let me know if the comments of chanting is your thing. I think it's super cool if that's something that uh, rings your bell. Vision board, I talked about that already, and prayer. Okay, so aphantasia it just really kind of blew my mind because I just thought that, well, I just really suck at visualizing, right? And I've tried exercises where I close my eyes and, and nothing happens, but apparently it's a thing, you know, blind mind's eye. So I don't know if there's any sort of a solution for that, but what I'm going to do is I'll do a little bit of research on that, probably a little ways down the line. I plan my content out four to six to eight weeks in advance. So let me know what you think, you guys. And if you have any solution to aphantasia that the community needs to be aware of, it would be really great to hear from you guys. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um... I just want to say, I mean, sometimes people comment when they're in a bad mood. And I just want to say that's the perfect time to step away from the keyboard. <laughs> and not do that. It affects the community. It, it affects the uh, vibration <laughs> of the tribe, you know, of our Oracle Rising family. So let's be nice and guys i'm just gonna go sit outside with my dog she's sitting over there waiting giving me a little bit of a side eye so yeah you <laughs> guys take care love and light bye